Hi everyone, it's Marie Lottermoser and I'm here today making a documenter spread using the May Alfresco documenter kit. I had already made two documenter spreads using this kit and so my goal today was to actually try to use up the remnants of my kit. I didn't quite succeed. I still have a lot of things left over, a lot of cards and uh, embellishments, but I got a good start on it. I did things a little bit different this time. Usually I start with my photos and then I pick out journaling cards to coordinate with them. But this time I actually went through the journaling cards and picked out my favorites and used those as a point of reference for what kind of photos I wanted to add to my page. Once I had my journaling cards picked out, I just kind of went through my spread and laid them out to get an overall view of what they look like. I tried to match colors and styles to just get a general overall look that I liked. Once I had my overall cards and layout set up, I went through and I printed out photos that would go along with the cards I had selected. For instance, there was a card that I really loved that said on my desk on it. And so I went and actually took a picture of what was on my desk, which were some new pencils I had just bought. And I added that to that card. There were also a lot of colorful rainbow type cards in this month's kit. And so I remember that my daughter and a friend of hers had just made a rainbow cake and excuse the look of my kitchen in the pictures. It's quite a mess, two teenagers in the kitchen. But I went through and I, and I took out the pictures of them um, making their rainbow cake and added it to this spread in particular, just again to kind of reflect the style of the cards this month. Another card that I thought was really cute this month and I wanted to use was the one that said Fiesta like there's no manana. And since it was Cinco de Mayo this month, I took um, a picture of some food magazines we've been going through looking for recipes to make for May 5th. And I added that next to that card. I also added in a little picture I took of um, the winner of this year's Kentucky Derby. Again, I was just trying to kind of add all the kind of events that happened in the month of May and went along with the cards from the kit. So I made it a half picture and I attached it to the bottom of that rainbow card. Once I had my pictures pretty well set up on my page, I went through and wanted to add some details. So I started with the stamp set that came with the kit and I stamped directly on my photo. I used the Color Theory ink in Clean Slate and it worked really well. Uh, it showed up and didn't smear at all. Once I'm done with my photo journaling card, I like to go ahead and get it right into the page protector just so that they're not moving all over the place and I know I'm kind of done with that section and can move on to the next without things slipping and sliding around. Uh, I took out one of the chipboard arrows from the set and added it to my journaling card, Fiesta Like There's No Manana and pointed it over to the picture next to it, which coordinated with it, just so that it drew your eye to what the journaling card was referencing. Next, I took out some of the embellishments and stickers that came with the kit and just started adding them here and there, trying to add some interest to my cards and pictures. On my On the Desk card, I really wanted to add some extra colors, so I used some of those vellum squares and tried to layer them behind the photo and on top of the card just to give it kind of an overall pop of color. I ended up adding in a pink vellum piece and a blue vellum piece and I really thought it was just kind of fun how they layered over each other and added a fun little detail to the card. I decided to add another stamp onto my Kentucky Derby card and after I stamped it, I really didn't like how it turned out. It would kind of split between the card and the photo. So I just took one of the chipboard circles and placed it directly over it to cover it up. I do things like that a lot instead of just restarting with a whole new picture or new card. Just taking something else and covering it up makes it a lot easier and less to worry about. Next, I decided to add my May rubber piece onto my card 
And I'm going to go back later and attach it using the red line tape, which I think works the best for these rubber pieces, but I didn't have any on hand while I was making the video. But while I was slipping it into the page protector, it kind of started to go at an angle and I decided I actually liked that look. So when I actually attach it for real, I think I'm going to attach it at an angle just to give a little extra interest to my page. And finally, I took one of the last uh, wooden stars that I had left and added it to my page. Again, I think I'm going to go back and probably use some better adhesive for it. But for now, I think it worked. I actually added it to the outside of the page protector um, just because it was a little bit bulky. And that was it. My page is all set and ready to go. So here's just a final look at my page. You can see up close how I used the journaling cards as a starting off point for what kind of photos I wanted to add to my spread. And that's it. I think I'll probably try this technique again someday. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you got some inspiration and I'll see you next time.